Opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Shaw Cable Systems or of the station. Through our access policy, we provide the opportunity for community groups and individuals to express their points of view. Hello, you are watching Lit Happens, Saskatchewan showcase of the literary talent of the province. We are out on location today on this gorgeous summer day at Levin's Coffee in the Ideas Building beside the Farmer's Market. Uh, we've got an exciting guest here, Dr. Ryan Miley. Ryan, welcome to Lit Happens. Good morning, Wes. Thanks for having me on. It's superb to have you here. I have been uh, learning about your book in recent weeks. I'm, I'm really excited about talking about it today. I guess before we get into the book itself so much, I'd like to hear a little bit about you. Uh, you have quite a fascinating career. Uh, can you tell us about it? I'm a family doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually live just a few blocks away here in the Riversdale neighborhood and work at the Westside Community Clinic, which is on 20th and P, sort right. of in the heart of the core neighborhoods of Saskatoon. That's where I spend about half my time. That's where I see patients as well as delivering the odd baby at the hospital. In fact, I was up till two in the morning, so if I look wow. a little, a little uh, <laughs> less bright than I usually do in the morning, it's, uh, that's the excuse, is a, is a very sweet little young lady that I wow. got to welcome into the world last night. Um, so the rest of my time I work at the university. I teach in the College of Medicine, and I also had something called the Division of Social Accountability. So the idea being that as physicians as a medical school, we have an obligation to serve the priority health needs of communities. Wow. And I just work with the college and with students to try and identify and help address those needs. Wow. Uh, well, I guess my next question is, where did you find the time to write a book? So I uh, found the time to write a book. It's a very good question. Uh, I didn't sleep a whole lot the last couple of years, but a lot of that has to do with the fact that we have a new son who's uh, wow. 11 months old now. Um, so it's been, it's been a pretty busy time between book and work and, uh, wow. and little Abraham. Uh, but you find the, the spaces in life when you're passionate about something, I'm sure you yes. know about that. To, I know all about uh, it. To write down those stories. Yeah, when you have a passion, mm -hmm. uh, you do what you need to do in the world. Now, we're gonna talk a little more about the balance in your life, but first, let's talk about your book. What, what exactly is the premise of the book? Yeah. So the idea behind the book, it really comes out of my experiences either working at Westside yeah. Community Clinic or in northern Saskatchewan. Uh, I worked for a couple of years as a traveling doc throughout rural Saskatchewan and also worked in Mozambique and in India, Brazil, Philippines. Wow. And through those experiences, I've really been exposed to a lot of different patients and a lot of different uh, health experiences. Right. And a lot of those stories have stuck with me and really the the theme that I think runs through those stories and on a broader level in our society as well as this theme of the determinants of health. As a family doc I I really enjoy seeing patients, I really love to go deliver a baby, love to uh, yeah. be able to help somebody figure out an illness and, and try and help them get through that uh, but it's often pretty frustrating as well because the things that we see and really, and can do something a little bit about, uh, well, we're only really getting to a very minimal part of it. Yes. Because people don't get sick when they show up at the clinic. They don't get sick when they are at the hospital. They get sick at work, at home, in their real lives. Right. And unless we're having some impact on those social determinants of health, the things that make a real difference in people's health outcomes, what wow. I do at the clinic is kind of after the fact. Wow. So That's... Th that's incredible. Yeah, so the, the idea behind the book was to use those stories, mm -hmm. let people share some of those experiences that I've had um, to highlight some of the changes that need, need to be made on a political or social level so that fewer people are sick. Wow. And, and so you labored on this book for a, a long time and uh, Pyrrhic Publishing and Saskatchewan-based publisher pu put it out for you, and we need to throw the plug out for them because they're just, Don and Karen, they're just fabulous people. Yeah, Don and Karen were really great, and they took a big risk. I yeah. never published anything before, and uh, they decided that this was the c 
kind of story, kind of uh, angle on social issues that they would really like to get behind. Wow. It's also a bit of a departure for them. They've largely worked on legal books and Aboriginal issues. Yes. Uh, and while there are some crossover between the, the topics, it's a, it's a new field for them. So it's been an adventure uh, on their end as well. Wow. So now I need, I need to know how is the book being received across across the prairies, across Canada? Uh, I was kind of surprised that somebody would publish the thing, let alone <laughs> actually read it. Uh, so I, I've been really like overwhelmed by the, the response. When we had a launch here in Saskatoon, we packed the house yeah. and uh, standing room only. Also had launches in Moose Jaw and Regina that went well, uh, as well as Toronto and Ottawa. Uh, filled bookstores there. Nice. And uh, we've been showing up on the McNally Robinson bestseller list. That's uh, th that's pretty pleasing. That's huge. Uh, I, as a local author, I follow McNally Robinson's bestseller list religiously. Yeah, and, you, and you find your name on there. Yeah, top. well, yeah. once in a while, not very often. <laughs> but um, you've hit the top ten numerous times, so that's fabulous. Yes, and. Uh, you know, nobody's really dug in and give me, given me a proper uh, tongue lashing. I haven't seen any really good reviews that ha hacked it to bits, unfortunately. You always kind of are interested in how somebody who doesn't like your book will take it. Uh, yeah. But there have been lots of positive reviews, including uh, some good coverage in the local papers and, uh, and some upcoming medical journals, people uh, coming from the similar professional angle. Well, it, it has been everywhere because I follow the local papers and it's getting great exposure so that's fabulous to see yeah we've been thrilled now we're running out of time but i do want to ask you you so you're you have a family you have a you have a career you were an author and a few other things how are you balancing all this um my wife asks the same question yeah uh you know we actually do pretty well uh, i managed to really set priorities and the priorities are to be with uh, with my family and, yeah. and spend as much time as I can doing that but uh, and to put patient service first when I'm when I'm on service uh, but I've managed to eke out some some time outside of that to Good. connect with people about the book write the book in the first place and uh, it's it's a I'm sure you can recognize it's a constant struggle to maintain that balance but uh, you got to do it or you get torn apart. You do. You need, you need to do what you need to do. Now, uh, I need to ask, where in Saskatchewan can viewers find a healthy society? In Saskatoon, it's sort of ubiquitous. We have it at the Park Cafe and Collective Coffee and nice. here at the Little Market store Great. in the Farmer's Market. And of course, at Turning the Tide, they've probably been uh, selling the most copies. McNally Robinson has got it as well as the U of S bookstore. Fabulous. Outside of Saskatoon, you have our bookstore, Post Horizon Books in Moose Jaw, and uh, we're still waiting for some of the chain stores to start stocking it. Great. And I, we do need to throw out a, a plug for Turning the Tide Bookstore on Broadway Avenue because it's just a, a, an incredible little bookstore. Great bookstore, and yeah. Pete Garden organized the book launch here yeah. and uh, designed the posters, uh, did the publicity, j did just an amazing job. Uh, he's I think one of Saskatoon's coolest business people. I, I couldn't agree more. Uh, what about online? Uh, website or does? Yeah, so there's RyanMiley.ca or nice. a Facebook page, and Great. as well, Purich Publishing. Ha you can order the book directly from them. Amazon and, and Chapters carry it as well. Great. Well, I know we're out of time, but I just want to thank you for taking time out of your very busy life to come here today with us and talk about a healthy society. This was fabulous. My sincere pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, maybe we can get you back. Maybe on the next book. Yeah. <laughs> that is all the time we have today for Lit Happens. If you enjoyed today's episode, you can see previous segments on the Shaw TV website or on my website, westfunk.ca. And you can connect with us online on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And I will see you next time on Lit Happens.